Good evening, it's Facebook Love. How are you today? Another beautiful blue sky day. Grateful for that. Um, I saw a friend for a few minutes and she asked how my day had been and I, I made a face and I said that I was addled. I couldn't seem to get my focus together very well today. I managed, I did what I had to, but uh, no more than that. It was not the, not my best. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. Every day. Um, I found a poem that I made in the spring of 2012 that I like um, a lot. That's about uh, getting centered again. And it seems like it's always by something outside. It's always nature that does that. Um, so I'm going to share that, and then uh, I might read a little bit of this this short essay that a, a woman writer that I like made years ago. We'll see how far we get. Um, this poem is called Le Grand Heron Bleu, because I don't know why he seemed French to me that day. Blue Heron is my favorite bird. Do you have a favorite bird? Okay. Le Grand Heron Bleu. I sighted my first blue heron of the year this morning, lovely and mournful as he flew over the birdsong field, ancient head bestowing grace, his wing spread shadowing all earthbound beings. Our teensy wanders and reckonings, no topic for grave dissection one-on-one. -on -one. The movement of air, enough to stir, enough stir to wave trouble on. Stymied, steaming, roiling along, I'd struck out all flags flapping my private storm. He sighted me, the solemn stole and mitre, his stony eye beside that razor fish tool sliced my sails loose. Wind boiling past, harmless now. A spring shower greens while I hatch damply winged close by the shallows. Stock-legged, he paces, one eye cocked. So that's how I pulled it together that day with that ancient pterodactyl looking bird <sighs> setting me straight. Um, I found this essay tucked inside a book that I love. I don't know that I'll read all of it, but um, I particularly liked her vision. This is a writer named Kate Braystrup. She is a minister and author. And uh, this is quite old. I think I've had this since sometime in the late 90s. Last century. When he was a little boy, my son Peter spent hours filling sheets of paper with detailed drawings of human conflict. His soldiers carried fearsome weapons. They were borne into battle, clinging to the gun turrets of enormous tanks, while flocks of fighter planes wheeled across a magic marker sky. The ordnance in these drawings were neatly labeled in accordance with Peter's understanding of human good and human evil. An American flag fluttered proudly above the good guys, and in case the point was missed, Peter would write U.S across the flanks of their fighter jets and tanks. The bad guys fought under red flags inscribed with swastikas. Peter labeled their tanks and airplanes too. They were the, quote, N-O-T-S-E-E-S, -E -E -S, Nazis. It was so perfect, I couldn't bring myself to correct his spelling. 
Vision as a metaphor for human spiritual insight has a history so broad, deep and obvious that it doesn't require much elucidation. I was blind, but now I see. Is just one familiar variation on the theme of an opened eye meeting light for the first time. As a six or seven year old, Peter named evil as a failure of vision. I believe he coined the term not see, not only because the phonetics worked, but also because it made sense to him spiritually. The Nazis refused to see the human reality of their victims and those who might have helped the Jews refused even to bear them witness. The Holocaust began with a denial of human commonality, a rejection of that human us. This, Peter sensed, is the prerequisite of all violence, all enslavement and bigotry, all genocide, and for all the small and crummy cruelties we human beings busily and blindly inflict on one another. It goes on. I pulled that out and felt um, like I've spent my whole life wondering why on earth anybody is violent. I don't understand it. I don't understand making people into not people. I don't understand making people other. I don't understand not noticing that almost 3,000 Americans are dying just about every day. Some of them are recovering. Some of them that I know have recovered but still aren't better. Some, even if they do recover, will be in debt for so long that it may take them forever to get better. Um, we're in the middle of a time when there's a lot of otherism. There's a lot of general addledness, not just mine. I just, uh, I pray for better. I pray for light. This is Facebook Love. I'll see you tomorrow.